Hey guys, this video is going to, be, going to be an introduction to the drug known as Rogam, an introduction as to why we give it to pregnant mothers or people about to undergo blood transfusions. Uh, we're going to begin with a basic, brief overview of uh, immunology and an introduction to the symbols I'm going to be using in this video. The symbols I'm going to be using are for antibody, this Y shape or peace sign shape, however you want to think about it, where the binding site is located here. And you'll know what I mean by binding site in a second because the binding site is where it binds to antigen. An antigen can be a bacterium, a virus, or a viral infected cell, uh, a foreign cell. Just this is immunology uh, in a nutshell. So here you can see immunity. Uh, we have a cell with an antigen on its cell membrane being attached or bonded to by an antibody. Uh, this is the whole premise of immunology, and that's how our body recognizes what's foreign. So we have antibodies that then recognize what's foreign, bind to it, and we go from there. Now, an introduction to where Rho, or RH, comes from. Uh, it's actually a, a name that comes from the rhesus monkey, so that's where the RH comes from. Um, and it also can be called the D antigen. So the Rho, or D antigen, is on a red blood cell, which the symbol for is going to be this in this little presentation. And that right there is going to be that D, or uh, like we just said, there's an antigen. That's going to be our Rho or D antigen, as opposed to an RH negative cell, which does not have the antigen. So this is going to be RH positive, RH negative. And these are red blood cells again. So here we have blood types. You probably know your blood type as A positive or O negative. The negative or positive or whatever you are is referring to RH positive or RH negative. Again, that can be D or whatever they, uh, however they want to name it. But for the sake of this presentation, we're going to call it RH positive or RH negative. Again, RH positive have red blood cells with that rho antigen. RH negative red blood cells do not have the antigen. Now, in the bloodstream of RH positive individuals, they don't have any rho antibodies. Because if they did, their own antibodies would bind to their own blood, which you don't want to have your immune system recognizing your own blood as foreign, right? So there's going to be no antibodies and no possible immune response to your own blood. Uh, with RH negative individuals, they can have antibodies if they're sensitized. And we'll talk about what sensitization means here in a second. But uh, the normal person, or not, I shouldn't say normal, but the unsensitized RH negative person is going to have no antibodies. But if they encounter an RH positive blood or antigen, they then can make antibodies because their bloodstream will recognize it as foreign because their normal blood does not have the antigen. So sensitization. That's when an RH negative person has encountered RH positive blood through like a blood transfusion or through pregnancy where their blood is mixing with the fetus's blood and thus they make antibodies to this foreign or the encountered RH positive antigen on the foreign bloodstream. Uh, here it is symbolically, so non-sensitized blood before sensitization there's no antigen, no antibodies. Sensitized blood is the person's blood cells and then a donor or the fetus's blood cells which you can notice here have the RH antigen and so thus, the RH negative bloodstream now has antibodies because this is technically foreign blood. Thus, the antigens are foreign, so we make antibodies to attack it. Now, post-sensitization, post that encounter, you'll notice that the donor's blood, which looked like this, is absent because it's been taken care of or used or degraded. However, we still have the antibodies. And this is where the danger occurs because now, now that you have antibodies made, your next, your succeeding uh, encounter with RH positive blood can lead to really bad things like high drops fetalis in, in a fetus, you know, which can kill your fetus, or erythroblastosis fatalis. Basically, it's where you can get a, a blood transfusion and that transfused blood, which is supposed to save your life or uh, treat you might actually end up uh, hurting you very badly because your bloodstream and these antibodies will start attacking this this donor blood that you need. And this is why we give the drug called Rogam to pregnant mothers who are Rh negative. We give it during the during or before a sensitizing event. So we give it during pregnancy. Uh, if you have an Rh positive fetus, or if you're about to have a blood transfusion, you're Rh negative. Um, and essentially, what Rogam is is here are your RH negative blood cells. We give Rogam, which are synthetic, made from an outside source, 
antibodies. Thus, you don't have to make your own antibodies. And in fact, your immune system is fooled into thinking that everything's great and kosher. There's no need to make your own antibodies because we have these outside sourced ones. That's what Rogam is. It's a uh, rho aminoglobulin, um, but it's given via injection. Now, if that Rh positive blood is encountered during pregnancy or delivery of the baby or blood transfusion, no sensitization occurs. Because like I said, your immune system doesn't see any antigens because all the antigens are already covered up by the Rogam. So your immune system knows nothing better and just, and just thinks that you're being given Rh negative blood because it doesn't see any antigens. Um, one thing to note is during pregnancy, you, even if you're an Rh negative mother, like if your blood type is A negative, you still can have a positive blood type fetus if the uh, male that you have the fetus with um, is a positive blood type. So through genetics, the infant can be either negative or positive if the parents are negative and positive. This is why we give Rogam at 28 weeks of gestation and within 72 hours of delivery to Rh negative pregnant women so we prevent that sensitization. Um, with the first Rh positive fetus, you're not going to have that big of a reaction because no antibodies have been made. But during that sensitization, antibodies will be made. So thus, with this, the next Rh positive baby that you have, now you'll have those antibodies and that there's a good chance that fetus won't survive all the way through gestation. And that's all I have today for uh, why we give Rogam and how it works.